Hey everyone, Chris, the Thrift Shop Hustler, with another What Sold on eBay video for you today. Hope everyone is having an amazing week. It is 9 19 2019. It is all the nines and the 19s and stuff. Hope everyone is having an amazing week. Like I said, if you're new to the channel, definitely go down there, click the subscribe button. If you're a subscriber, definitely go down there, click the like button. I definitely appreciate that. And if you're watching this video on the back end, definitely leave a comment. Uh, anytime during this video that definitely helps hope everyone is having an amazing week i said that three times i think that is enough uh, for those that are new to the channel i'm chris the thrift shop hustler uh, ebay hub manager for the american cancer society uh, proceeds to the charity shop go to cancer research wigs transportation housing a lot of different cool things so uh, i actually work for a charity i run the american cancer society's ebay page and uh Almost in November, going to be here for a year, still getting my feet wet with everything, and uh, just uh, scaling. 2020 is going to be the year of scaling the business, so I'm very excited, and, and for those that have been following the journey. So anyways, enough about me, enough about what's going on here. You came here for the information. That's all you came here for. I understand that. I get it, and so let's get into the information. Uh, first up, we have this DC Collectibles Batman the Animated Series. Uh, this is uh, some action figures that are about maybe about five to six inches tall. Uh, these are kind of uh, different action figures than you normally will see in the store. Um, I think these these were sold in specialty shops and stuff like this. I'm not sure if you were able to get these in Toys R Us, but anytime you come across any kind of action figures, definitely scan the barcodes on the back. And especially if you have an Amazon app, the Amazon app is free. The eBay app is also free. And basically you can kind of see what's selling better with the particular platform. For the most part, Amazon usually sells, uh, you know, stuff for a little higher pricing when it comes to collectibles. Now you have to be ungated in certain uh, categories and things like that. So uh, just double check that you're ungated in certain categories if you're buying for Amazon because sometimes you'll see something that is for sale on Amazon for $50 and it's selling for $15 on eBay and you're like, oh wow, you know, I'm going to buy this. It's $8 and then you go home and you realize that you're gated in that category. So just be warned if you're ever going to, you know, do some arbitrage in that manner to definitely uh, do that. We got Maui Delights and Mary Keat 7. I can always count on you to come and say hello. I definitely appreciate it. Uh, I don't get much viewership here on the channel, and I was kind of thinking about that today in the shower. I was like, why do I even do this? Uh, um, you know, I get like maybe 15, 12 people watching these live shows. Now, I know it's because of the time and everything, but even the channel just so, it's like so much struggle to grow. And uh, watching, you know, all my friends around me uh, have tremendous success and just me like wondering what, why am I even doing this. But the reason why I'm doing this is for two people, Maui Delights and Mary Kate 7 that are here. This is the only reason why I do it. Um, quality instead of quantity, I guess you want to say. So I really appreciate the two viewers that come and say hello for sure. So uh, enough about that. I've been really in a uh, retrospective mode this week, and I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the moon. I don't know, man. But I've just been really kind of like, just kind of thinking, is this is this even worth it? Like, do, should I even like do these videos? You know, I, I get to that point every once in a while. Those that know me personally, I know I go through this cycle of like super excited to do YouTube videos to like, why am I even doing this? Like, no one watches these videos. Uh, anyways, the. I don't know. See, I even lost my train of thought here. Anyways, um, uh, DC Collectibles, yeah, so definitely scan any action figures you see on Amazon because sometimes they go for a pretty good amount of money uh, on certain uh, platforms. And my phone was beeping, was it? Let's make sure. Yeah, there we go. Uh, next up, we have this Philosophy Men Cologne. We are uh, we actually sold the, the first batch of these. We actually have a bunch of these, and I didn't want to like load them up all all up on at the same time and I probably should have done that uh, but anyways uh, we've people have heard the story before we came across a, a bunch of this cologne and perfume from a, a lady that worked with the uh, Academy Awards she did swag bags and got this stuff directly from 
the manufacturers back in 2004, 2005-ish, around that area. So there was a lot of kind of NOS, new old stock kind of stuff that we have like um, a couple bins full of the stuff. So, uh, you know, one of those things, we've been selling these for eighteen ninety nine each. And uh, just be warned, there's a lot of um, counterfeit cologne and perfume out there. So if you come across like a wholesale de deal and like at a thrift shop, not a thrift shop, but yeah, I guess you might find it. But like if you're at a garage sale or like a flea market and there's just like a bunch of like eternity for men or obsession that's like really cheap and doesn't seem something seems off, you know, they do counterfeit. A cologne and stuff like that i've been victim of it i've bought uh you know obsession for men off of ebay and then like use it and then be like why isn't this something's not right about this and then realize that it was it was a, a counterfeit one even though they're sell they sell a ton of that stuff on ebay by the way and ebay pretty much can't regulate that stuff you almost have to have you know be a customer to report that stuff to, for ebay to even uh, reported but anyways just be warned you know if you are going to be sourcing this stuff uh to definitely uh look it out we got murrayed life in the house how you doing uh do the videos if it's your passion i always have to listen to motivational speeches to keep me on track yeah i understand i totally get it and by the way murrayed life's going to be on the show next week i'm very excited about that we're going to promote that i think it's going to be thursday i have to double check everything so definitely go and check her channel out she is definitely an up and up and coming youtube personality for sure but i definitely appreciate the, the the people that do come and watch the shows for sure so uh that's my spiel on cologne and perfume definitely um you know it's one of those things to just be warned about if it's a if it's too good to be true it probably is Next up, we have the Scooby-Doo. Now, when I first saw this come into the shop, I thought this was actually a toy, but it's actually a DVD set. It's pretty cool. It comes in the, the mystery machine. That's always like a, uh, one of those trivia questions you see on Jeopardy or Trivia Pursuit. What is the name of the Scooby-Doo mobile? Um, the mystery machine is the name. Hunting criminals is their game. And those blasted damn kids always meddling. Those meddling kids. Anyways, this is pretty cool. As you can see here, it's a DVD set. Comes in a uh, car. <clears throat> this thing goes from anywhere between eighty to one hundred and fifty bucks. Um, I did. I think I did take a best offer for ninety dollars on this thing, and we could have probably waited a little longer for the one twenty four ninety eight. But you know, we had this up for a while before it sold, so I just took the ninety dollars. And so, if you ever come across this thing. Even loose, uh, you can probably still get some good money for this. Probably loose. So just count all the DVDs, make sure they're all there. Uh, this actually came directly from Warner Brothers. One of the cool things about working in Burbank is we get donations from the studios quite often. Uh, we haven't had a we haven't actually had a studio donation in uh, a while. Well, not it hasn't been a long while, but uh, this was the last thing that we got some stuff from warner brothers what happens is basically there's tons of employees that work for disney warner brothers nickelodeon in the burbank area and what happens is they clean out their desks they clean out their closets you know they <clears throat> they do some spring cleaning and it's not like the studios directly send this stuff it's just people are like oh, i don't need this stuff i'm just going to donate it to the american cancer society so that's where a lot of this stuff actually comes from for sure. We got Thrift and Flip in the house. That definitely is a newer name. Oh, as a matter of fact, Murrayed Life, if you're still here, I'm going to make you a moderator because I like you a lot. Let's see here. There you are. You now have the Blue Wrench, Murrayed Life. Welcome. I think your name is Alicia. Alicia? Alicia? Uh, next up, we have this Presto Meromatic Pressure Cooker Pan Recipe Books Cook. Re All the freaking keywords are here, everyone. All the keywords are here. Uh, I probably could have put crock pot, but I don't even think this was a crock pot. I think crock pot is a um, copyrighted, actually, brand. Anyways, w the main reason why I'm showing you this is uh, ephemera, basically things that are meant to be thrown away. Uh, use one time, like, you know, greeting cards, uh, receipts, you know, stuff like this. The, you know, I guess this wouldn't be considered ephemera. You're supposed to keep these, but a lot of this stuff gets thrown away. Anyways, what I'm trying to say is... 
you know, you might go to a uh, estate sale and find like a box of these like real thin recipe books from the 60s or the 70s. Just pick them up. Some of them are actually worth money. Uh, this one, you know, we got, you know, like we're zero dollars into this. So nine 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 plus five nine nine shipping. And uh, some, like I said, some of these actually go for a pretty good amount. This actually Aunt Sam Sammy's one up here in the corner is actually a pretty crazy one. And I got like a mosquito or something blowing in here. Of course, of course, the mosquitoes are trying to get me already. Uh, Aunt Sammy's. You know what the crazy thing about mosquitoes is that mosquitoes love me. I don't know what it is. And like I did research and everything trying to figure out like why the mosquito. Because because if I'm in a room or outside, mosquitoes seem to like love me. I don't know what it is. And it has something to do with like your DNA. It has something to do with your body heat. There's a lot of factors that go into that. So, um... I, I'm totally, I'm totally sidetracking it. Anyways, the females are the only ones that bite, and the, the reason why they bite is they need blood to to produce. They need blood for their eggs, and so my theory is I have good DNA, so therefore they they like me more. They don't want to mess with anyone with bad DNA for their eggs. So there's like, there's like, uh, <laughs> there, there's thrift shop hustler blood mosquito, mosquitoes out there somewhere. I don't know. The mosquitoes love me. I, I hate it. I hate it. Mosquitoes are a pain. And I'm in California, which is crazy. We don't really have mosquitoes out here. But for the last couple of years, uh, the mosquito population, and they're these crazy little tiny hybrid ones that are like, they're crazy. Like, I, I can't even describe it. They're like these little tiny ones that are just like, and you, they, you can't shoo them away because they react. Not like those big, uh, crazy mosquitoes that everyone knows about. They're so slow. You can just kill it with a with a sandal or something like that or a newspaper these things are stealthy they know when you're moving they know when something's coming and they dodge it it's like the it's like i swear they're freaking from another planet these mosquitoes that are here in california <laughs> oh my goodness uh we got jacob charles in the house fellow patreon thank you man i'm, I'm gonna be doing another patreon video pretty soon uh yeah, see the mosquitoes down here in the south are just like our yard pets. <laughs> they love my blood too. Yes, I can imagine. All the hammers in the house. We got Stephen Buchanan. I think that's the name. Stephen Buchanan's in the house. Thrift and flip. Anyways, uh, back to the subject on hand. These little like cookbook things. Definitely look them up if you can find a box of them for like five bucks at a thrift store. Or an estate sale, definitely pick them up. Some of them are worth money. Like I was saying, this Aunt Sandy's one is actually a pretty crazy one. It was like from the 40s or the 30s. Let me see here. Yeah. Br Bureau of Home Economics, the U.S. Department of Agriculture. This is nuts. Like there's it from 19, is that the 1967 one? No, 1931. Like I can seriously doubt that there is like, hundred of these still left in, in, in existence so anyways uh next up we have this kadim kadem israel 925 sterling fiddler uh, statue sometimes you see these these basically are kind of like those touristy type of things you go to israel you know they have the people with the tables and the and the tchotchkes i guess they call them a the little i never got the word tchotchke i i, I thought i think like I'm 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 a knickknack kind of guy. Like I was growing up, like calling all oh, the little things are like knickknacks, and I guess tchotchkes must be an East Coast thing. And I hear that a lot from people that are from the East Coast. They talk about tchotchkes, and I don't even know what they even. Do. I guess if you say knickknack too, people won't even really understand. Anyways, back to these. Uh, keep an eye out for these. They don't go for a crazy amount of money, but if someone's selling these at a garage sale for like five bucks, there's that mosquito again. It must like the new lights. I got new lights. That's why I look so uh, um, bright and heavenly today. Because it's like <laughs> heavenly. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I, I give up. There it is. See? They, do they dodge. They're dodgers. Hey, we're in Los Angeles, so that makes sense. They're totally dodgers. Uh, so, yeah, look at, the, look at these. Look for these, these statue things. They're out there. Uh, next up, we have this Humpty Dumpty coin bank, vintage, antique coin bank. Isn't this thing the creepiest thing you've ever seen? Imagine if you're like a, a five-year-old kid from the 30s waking up to go to the soup line and you see this thing staring at you. You go to shake it, but there's no money in there because it's the Great Depression. 
It is 1932. Humpty Dumpty is staring at you. Luring. Luring? <laughs> Leery. <laughs> He's luring over you. Ah. If you're in California, don't have these above your bed because if there's an earthquake, this thing will kill you. They're that heavy. Anyways, uh, vintage banks, definitely look out for them. Just be warned, there's tons of reproductions. They're usually the only way that I know. There's a damn mosquito again. Old bastard. <clears throat> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get him. Um, it's kind of like, you just look, if you look at it, there's two of them. Man, they're multiplying. Uh, it's kind of like to, to look at the, the kind of paint job and the wear, if it looks like it's old, it's usually going to be a vintage or an older one. I need a zapper. That's what I need up here. I'm in an attic, by the way. I, for those that are new to the channel, I film all this stuff up in an attic and I think I need a zapper up here. So I can get them. A little zapper. Zap them. Anyways, uh, this thing looks old, so I know it's kind of one of the older ones. Now, there are ways to tell, like, you know, of course, like, sometimes <clears throat> uh, the way the metal's pressed. But for the most part, if you look at it, uh, an old bank and it looks like, you know, it's got some age wear to it, it's pretty a good indicator to at least look and do some more research. Though, there are tons of people that, you know, are able to age something like this. And so, this is a freaking eyebrows, dude. Look at, even the eyebrows are creepy. All right, enough of this. We we took a best offer for twenty five bucks on this. This sat around for a while. Um, I thought it was worth a hundred dollars, which why I put it for ninety nine dollars. But uh, basically, uh, it's one of those things for sure. <laughs> uh, Mary Delight says, "Chris, you're cracking me up. I love your videos." He's crack. Yeah, kid. <laughs> Jacob Charles, I'm cracking. I'm cracking myself up. I am. I I mean, I gotta. You gotta have some levity in this world. This world is going to hell. Like seriously, like. I can't even talk, talk, tell you, like, how much this world's going to hell in a handbasket. Like, every day there's something happening. Like, you know, we're going to have a financial crisis at some point, too. Like, worse than the 2008 crisis. So, just be prepared for that. Um, you know, if you guys have any extra money, definitely buy some silver if you can. Uh, just to hedge against, like, if there's a run on the bank, you, you won't be able to get your cash out. Have some cash on hand. Uh, stock up on some water i'm not like saying like oh everything's gonna go to hell but like when that when that financial thing does happen there's gonna be a, a week or two of like uh uncertainty where you're probably not gonna be able to get the money out of your banks and so uh, cash is gonna be super in demand and silver and gold is definitely gonna go up in price so uh, i'm not doom glooming it i'm just saying like uh things are not looking good <clears throat> in the economy right now so uh, maybe that's another reason why i'm just like why do I even do these videos? Next up, let's say I'm going to switch gears totally. So next up is this Arizona collecting. I'm in a mood today. I don't know what it is. I'm in a, I'm in such a mood today. Yeah. I haven't had breakfast either. Maybe that's what it is. I'm I'm hangry. I'm hangry. I'm hangry. Uh, let's see here. Where was I? Oh yeah, eBay stuff. Books. Arizona Collecting. This is a uh, book, college book, I think. <clears throat> um, September, you know, like right around the end of the summer is when you really want to start listing your books and stuff. And of course, like, you know, after J January, the, or I think it's before January, the second semester. I don't know. I, school was such a long time ago. Believe it or not, um, I haven't been to school for a long time. It's been like over 20 years since I was in college. And, uh, so yeah, there's that. Anyways, you can scan these books, look them up. I don't know. I don't know, dude. I, I really don't. Know. <sighs> I'm feeling it today. Uh, next up is this vintage 1966, seven, 1970s French La Les Aventuriers. <laughs> I'm not gonna try to. Sp I don't have a French accent. I don't, so I'm not even gonna try. Uh, Aventuriers de Tintin. That's all I know of French. I did take French in high school. Two years of it, by the way, because uh, I failed at Spanish. And I'm, uh, I'm half Hispanic. And so I was kind of frustrated in school. I'm going to tell you a little story. What's so frustrating about high school in Spanish class is I'm in Los Angeles. There's a huge Hispanic population. I'm half Hispanic, by the way. 
half Irish, half Hispanic, the best of both worlds, by the way. Um, and <laughs> it would piss me off because all these Spanish kids would freaking get straight A's and I didn't know crap and I would like be lost. Now there's AP Spanish and all that kind of stuff. But French was the thing that, uh, that was my, my jam. I actually did very well on it, but it's one of those, my phone is beeping. Okay. Anyways, look out for these damn books and things. Look out for things. They're out there. Things are out there to make money. I don't even know. Anyways, I really appreciate everyone tuning in. I really appreciate Of course, the phone's going to start freaking beeping now, right? 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 I love you all. Hope you have a great weekend, weekday, whatever. And uh, like I said, uh, thank you for tuning in. Like, you know, like I said, there's not too many people that, that actually care what I do. So I... The fact that you're here and that you care, I really appreciate that for sure. Uh, anyways, don't forget to uh, buy that silver <laughs> and some water. And get in the pop shot there's man. It's all going down. No, just kidding. Everything's going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine. Just remember, like, no one cares about you. The government doesn't care about you. No one cares about you. You have to take care of yourself. Remember that. You have to take care of yourself and your family. There's no one that's going to help you. Just remember that. Ha 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 ha!